Good evening and welcome to you, whoever you are. Now, I don't mean to joke around. Um, this subject is pretty important to me. Um, my dad got diagnosed with cancer in about 2012. I started to look into it and saw this like nothing making sense. This is crazy. Um, but my dad was the type who certainly trusted doctors and he wasn't going to listen to me over the doctors. Um, he died in 2014 and uh, the last two years of his life weren't exactly fun. You know, he was trying different um, uh, things to cure his cancer and the radiotherapy was a bit successful, but the chemotherapy was killing him. It ended up so that his it affected his heart, so the left ventricle wasn't pumping as much as the right, and this caused his lungs to fill up with fluid, and it would have to have that emptied. But you know he was just going down and down and down, and so I thought it's probably a good idea to have a look at the 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 treatments that they that they give people for cancer and you know have a look at the ingredients and see see what it's all about chemotherapy wikipedia as you can see i've been here already and chemotherapy does it as cancer treatment that uses one or more anti-cancer drugs well, let's have a look at these Okay, we've got a whole long list of them. As you can see, I've been on them already. Uh, this is uh, the mustard gas one. So they made a lot of mustard gas in the, uh, in the for the First World War and the Second World War, and they were having problems with storage. And this is what I think about the... Um, pharmaceutical industry is that they like to use waste products that really they would have to pay to get rid of and they actually enable themselves to perhaps adapt it slightly so they can put a patent on it and then they sell it to places like national health services all around the world and then that gets dumped into human bodies who are already struggling with stuff obviously because they've got an ailment and they process this toxic waste and it goes into the human body and the liver and everything else and obviously what comes out has probably lost its toxicity because it's been through a human body and therefore they've solved a toxic waste problem and they've made money But the only downside is the people who have to, well, don't have to, but through fear or whatever, feel they have to have this treatment. There we go. That's, I think, all I need to say on the matter. Ciao for now.